Guys, how exciting was this for you guys all to come back together? It was great. It was a dream come true. <laughs> it really was. Yeah, it was like seeing old, you know, your family again. We're like old friends and family at the same time. So catch us up. I mean, for there are a lot of people who are going to be just coming into this franchise. Really? Yeah, you know what I mean. There's people yeah, that because the younger generation didn't really see. But they saw the reruns oh, of on, the first on, one. Right. On the I TV. think more people saw have seen the movie, the, the audience is much larger than people assume because right. I've seen The Best Man TV. come on 15 times. Yeah, you're right. And like my TV. kids who missed it the first time right. watched it and now they're acquainted with the characters. I think it's going to have a much larger appeal. I f yeah, I forgot. It's, on t it's like, on t like a TV series on some channels. It really <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, it is. So catch people up. Where are you now? What's happening with everybody? Storyline. Um, I'm President Obama. <laughs> you know, trying to rule the nation and had to come and look after my friends because they lost all their hair and don't know what to do with themselves. <laughs> we're, we're oh like. my gosh, and I'm Shelby 2.0, and they call me <laughs> Shelby 10.0. She's just, I'm just bigger, badder, and better. <laughs> yeah, now I think um, most of our characters, though, we've lost touch and we've forgotten why we became friends in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, and oftentimes you pick a friend because you're going to need them in the future. So, um, we rekindle, you know, that purpose that God put everybody into each other's lives. And it's a great holiday film because that's what's most important. A lot of people just get together with family, but they forget uh, that it's the friends mm -hmm. that really need the holiday cheer. Listen, fans love this film. They love you guys. They think you're their friends. That's how much mm -hmm. they identify with you. What is it about these characters? Why do you think people are just so excited about Shelby, so excited about Quentin. We're light-skinned. <laughs> I mean, Malcolm wrote, I mean, he just wrote great characters that you could relate to, any, any color. I mean, it's a universal story, the first movie, and I think just the relationship of this friendship, I mean, it's just, he wrote great characters, and I, feel, I mean, a lot of women come up to me and say, oh, girl, you are me. Like, you know, they admit that they are a piece of work, you know what I mean? I mean, I think there's a bit of all of these characters and people. I agree. Malcolm said that. Malcolm said there's a Lance that people can uh, identify with. Lance Absolutely. They identify. They really identify. People really identify with you two, though. There's we're some nerve. <laughs> there's some nerve that you guys <laughs> touch. You know. <laughs> Let's talk about Malcolm for a second. Um, as a producer, writer, director, what did he bring to this film for you guys? I mean, tell us about working with him. He brought a conviction. You know that. You know, most of the time after 14 years in a business, you know, 15 years in a business, you learn how to make a compromise here or there, which normally um, un undercuts your, your the, the whole purpose of the film. He came with a commitment to tell an honest story with the hype associated with it, with the lows associated with it, with the emotional tug of war, and with the laughs necessary, and he refused to make it PG because right. it says some situations are adult situations. Right. And that commitment, yeah, to that make it about something. convicted us. Right. And so for you, Melissa, I mean, what is it about Malcolm Lee? Because you guys have a good relationship. I saw oh. you guys all over Twitter. I know. He took me to the Yankees game in Canada. I mean, he's the only Yankee, Yankee hat in the Canadian stadium. I was like, oh, God, we're going to get killed, Malcolm. <laughs> No, no, he's just, he's just a good guy, and he, you know, I'm grateful to him for this role. I mean, it is a role of a career. I mean, it's just one of those roles that's memorable and that I love to play. Um, so already that, you know, the gratitude is there, and he just, he's a, he's a giving director. He was always very, like, hmm. open on, you know, on my ideas. Even from the first movie, at the audition, I added lines that weren't in there, and he was like, yeah, yeah, keep that, keep that. And this time around too, you know, he, you know, lets you be free and kind of bring your own thing to it. And most of the time, those are the gems. This guy never stays on the page, you know. And but those are the things that he. Cockeyed. Those are the things that he keeps. That's important moments. And he, he, he's, you know, he knows how to work with us. He's, he's like our father, not father, because yeah, we're not. He's, he's a co-collaborator. Co yeah. Co um, collaborator. Yeah. Co what is yeah. he saying? Not collaborator. Yeah. No. Collaborator. <laughs> collaborator. Collaborate. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah. sound right though. No. But right. no, he right. literally works with you throughout the entire process, and he wants your input, and mm -hmm. he will trust you. But then there's times when he wants you to trust him. Yeah. And if you trust him, he trusts you, and I think it would, and we trusted each other. Constantly. Exactly. 
It was Constantly. great that we are try this or try right. that. We that we're all so comfortable that. with each other. That was such so helpful because we could be we're safe with each yeah. other. Yeah. And that is like if you already know each other and you're comfortable with the actor, as opposed to when you're showing up, you don't know that person. You're gonna be more free with someone you're comfortable with and you trust. Doesn't she look great? Good. Oh, thank you. <laughs>